Welcome. This is a video of Jumbo Game Developer. Today, I am going to show you an important code to make an object look on another object. So, with this only small uh, small code, this video is going to be a quick video as it's short length. The function for this video is actually just look at function. Stay watching to know how to use it. Here, I have quickly set it up a scene to show how to use to show how to use the look at as an example we want this arrow to look at this cube when the game is running and on that case we can use look at method or function on this object currently it has a script attached to it we can detach this script from it and we can write our own code for making this arrow look on this cube and this cube can move to with WSD or arrow keys on the keyboard if I run currently you will see that the arrow is rotated on this side and isn't looking on the cube that we want to make it look on so now if we want to make it look on the cube so we should start scripting on we will actually use that look at function on by scripting in GD script yes Godot uses GD script if you don't know about this thing uh, you might be a beginner don't worry I am going to show you how to use this thing and it's going to be challenging for me to explain everything for a beginner but it's will it will not take too much script uh, to do this so it will not hope take time to record so to attach end script we will just right click on the arrow on the scene window and then we are this arrow is actually this game object's name and by selecting this arrow we are selecting this and attaching script to this if we are attaching this on that script on here so attaching script on i will put it on the scripts folder i will name it arrow looks at y o a do Loops at open create. It has already created some things for me, such as function already, which we will not need actually. First of all, we will need an on ready bar. Wait, this is something, this variable thing is something that actually stores something inside of it. It can be a game object or a picture or an audio it can be anything but we will define that type on this side but first just name that variable so by calling that name we can access it from other things the thing we want to actually store on it is actually this kinematic body which is this cube and by accessing this kinematic body for the arrow we are going to get the position of the kinematic body to the arrow and we will say arrow to look on that got assessed kinematic body's position uh, by the look at function let's just first name it of okay let's name it target and first of all we will need to store the I mean we will need to get this wall then under it we will try to find the child kinematic body this is the way actually to assess I don't know why it's getting I'm getting errors wait for a second oh I understood actually the thing is going to be get no and kinematic body so first of all we are getting this 
this parent the other uh, parent of the script yeah uh, the object the script is attached to which is this object and the parent of it is this and we are getting this parent by this get parent first and then if we are getting each child kinematic body with this get node kinematic body function and i'm explaining this for beginners targeting by it so i am taking time it might take a lot more time if i explain this in details so i'll explain this all shortly so my video will be watchable if it's as it will be short length then this is simple look at uh, look at target with i'm explaining it Well, I have used something that would not be expected for you, but it will. You don't need to think about this. You will actually think need to think about this look at function and this target dot position. The look at function will uh, make this object which this script attached is attached to make it look to this target position. It will calculate some mathematical things for us just with this look at function Godot will calculate us to find a rotation which will look at this target dot position this target dot position is kinematic body 2d which i have explained to you let before it's getting the kinematic body by fast getting the parent get parent this wall and then I mean this get parent getting this wall by searching its parent the parent of arrow then getting its child named kinematic body to me if we actually write here arrow it will get the arrow actually but we have write a get parent yet not kinematic body to the and as there is kinematic body to the I mean 3d whatever can actually it's kinematic body as yeah, here kinematic body is written it will get this parent i mean this world's child kinematic body to the named object and that object's position is gotten by this thing and this look at will look on this position i mean this position is actually this kinematic body's position by a dot and position we have as actually inserted this kinematic body to the under this target and that targets position uh, if we are going to get this targets position we are going to get this kinematic body's position uh, i don't know how it's making sense or not making sense maybe i think it's making sense to you however you don't need to know about this because this doesn't looks like it should work uh, and to save we will use ctrl s go to 3d view now we can test if this works let me see if we get errors yeah we get, have got errors actually the position is not supported anymore i think so we will need to assess it by we will need to actually assess the position by get global transform dot origin this actually gets the position of the target and here in this parameter from this bracket to this comma this it is actually getting the target if it is meaning target it is meaning this kinematic body's position and make it will get that position and this method will look on that thing that thing that i have just discussed about kinematic body's position i mean this comma to bracket thing and if you are a beginner just wait i will upload a video about some more important functions such as the process and this thing and the function process i sorry function ready 
and there are also some important things such as function physics process and input we'll discuss about them later but let's just test it right now let's see what happens if it works will it work yeah you can see the arrow is looking at the cube by that method that i have show you guys just some seconds ago so actually this is the tutorial video about Godot today you can look at the code again I am showing you and if you also want to see how the movement code is in my this kinematic body here it is for you just copy I mean take screenshot and write this code if you want I will discuss about this top down 3D code later on another video so it is all for today i hope this video helped you if this video helped you leave a like feel free to tell me anything you can also join my discord subscribe for more beginner targeted videos it's all today stay safe stay healthy happy game developing bye